Hi, I'm Linda Hargrove, and I'm going to read from Entertaining Angels, a short story that I wrote last for last Christmas season, and it's based in Raleigh, contemporary romance, and just going to start at a Christmas caroling scene between Onyx, who is the heroine, and Tank, who is the love interest. So, he turned at the waist and looked back at me with a toothy grin. This smile disarmed me, dazed me, honestly. Uncle Ed and Mama D's greeting snapped me back into reality. Onyx, they cried. Onyx, Tank said with a dazzling teeth and extremely broad shoulders. This is your niece? He spun around again and gripped my forearms between his two strong hands. Ed, she's prettier than you said. W what? My tongue refused to obey me. Tank released me, took a step back as my great aunt moved in closer. Mama D pointed at my top. Why are you wearing that blouse? It was her blouse. <laughs> she had the nerve to talk. Atop her head was perched at a jaunty angle, a fuzzy red Santa cap, glossy, perfectly formed, salt and pepper tendrils of fing or hair fringed her face. I thought I fought the urge to point out that she was wearing a wig. Uncle Ed had started playing Let It Snow. From the merriment in his eyes, I could tell he was enjoying all this attention. He was busking. He was uh, playing for the crowd. Can you say cha-ching? He was blowing that horn to beat the band and the bill collector, no doubt. Two Prada bag-carrying women, women were streaming it live on their expensive iPhones. The scene, even with this mystery man in it, was very sweet. In a nouveau inner city meets affluence picture postcard kind of way, I ignored my aunt's question and her fake hair and focused as much fire as I could into staring at the handsome black man towering over me. My name is Sean Jones, he said, addressing me. Folks call me Tank, as it as in Shark Tank, the TV show, Mama D explained before turning back to her man and singing along for the audience. When, hmm, I said, finding my voice again, my attention was fully directed at the man at this point who wanted to call himself Tank. I looked deep into his dark brown eyes. So you are a shark. He grinned with those gorgeous teeth again. No, no, I'm not. I'm an angel investor. An angel, huh? Who had the gall to call himself an angel? He did have pretty eyes for a dude I was not interested in, I mean. So I'm going to leave it at that. You can find Entertaining Angels on um Amazon, that's what I was trying to remember. You can find it on Amazon as well as the two other books in the series. Thanks for listening.